This is just a quick tutorial on how to make a creepy garage door open uh, in your uh, holiday projected uh, house and expose a video behind it. And we're going to do everything in the free version of Hiltfilm Express. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing I'm going to do is I've already created a project here. It happens to be 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames a second. But obviously you create whatever size of project and whatever frame rate you want. Uh, but I'm going to bring in all of the different items that we need. Uh, the first thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need uh, a house and with a mask around the garage area, the garage door areas. And uh, now obviously this would typically be a creepy house for Halloween. Uh, this is just an outline, but the critical thing here is it has that mask around the garage door area. Uh, we're also, uh, we'll need an old garage door. Uh, we're also going to need a video to uh, play behind it after the garage door opens and is revealed. Uh, and then finally we're going to need a garage door sound effect. So I'm going to make sure I have all of those selected and hit open. And now we're going to come over here and I'm going to select the uh, house again here with this mask on the garage door area. And I am going to right click and make a composite shot. I could also press Control M to do that. And I'm going to accept all of these defaults. And then we're going to need to bring in our garage door and we're going to place it below our house. And so only the part where the mask is will show the garage door. Now, obviously our garage uh, door picture is really big and so we need to scale it down. So I'm going to use the uh, scroll wheel on my mouse, scroll down to zoom out. Uh, I could also use this little zoom function over here to do that. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, hold down my shift key and click on the corner here and the shift key doesn't allow you to stretch it it just scales the image perfectly it stains the uh, same uh, proportions here I'm gonna get it roughly the right shape we're gonna put it here now the real key here is to get it positioned on the ground you don't want it like far below here so it like keeps moving for a long time before you start exposing it needs to be sitting right on what would be ground level uh, and I'm gonna stretch this just a smidge in here to uh, kind of make it fit and center it up a little bit. Looks a little bit better. There we go. And now let's zoom back in. Make sure that looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks like the ground, the level's pretty accurate. So we're in pretty good shape there. Uh, let's see, might be a little tall here. So let me, uh, let me shrink it a little bit and pull it over here. Back to ground level again. Uh, stretch it slightly. Basically just, uh, Futs with it till it uh, looks the way you want it to. There we go. So it's got a little bit of overlap around our garage door area to make sure that everything's kind of, uh, the edges are hidden basically. So now let's go ahead and bring in the uh, creepy uh, video that we want to uh, display when the garage door opens. Uh, now uh, it's also really big. So yet again, I'm gonna uh, scroll out my mouse button here. I'm gonna hold down my shift key. I'm going to scale it roughly to the right size drag it into place and uh, put it right about there and uh, now if you want to see I'm gonna zoom back in by the way if you want to see what it what the video looks like without having to do the animation yet what you can do is you can use this little eye here on the garage door click that and the garage door will be invisible and then if we scroll through we can see our video now I am going to uh, scroll down this video here and go to audio I'm going to turn down the audio level minus 60 db that way we don't hear the audio anymore there we go and there's our creepy uh, bridal lady there uh, so now we need to animate the garage door uh, oh and we need one more thing we're going to need the garage door opening sound effect and that's actually going to control how long it takes to open the garage door because obviously it needs to start moving when the sound starts and end when the sound ends so let's go ahead and do that i'm going to furl open here the garage door and go to transform and I'm going to press this little dot here next to position and you notice it becomes orange and that tells me we are keyframing now and it's keyframed the very beginning of the video in this closed position now I'm going to scrub through and to kind of hear the uh, sound effect of the garage door opening until it stops right about there and then I need to make sure that the garage door is fully open at that point so that's just Go ahead and I'm going to hold my left, uh, hold my mouse button down, my left mouse button over this number and I'm going to scroll my mouse to the right and it's going to raise that garage door there for me. And you just want it just hidden out of the way there. 
and that's perfect and that should now end whenever the sound effect of the garage door uh, opening ends so let's uh, roll this back and go ahead and have a play And that's really it for the effect. Uh, we're all done. And of course, you could tweak everything and make it look uh, even better. Uh, but that's all of the basics you need to uh, put together a moving garage door reveal for a video behind effect in HitFill. Thanks for watching.